conditions across the UK as we started 2023. In parts of Scotland, snow was falling. This beautiful shot from one of our weather watchers in the Highlands, where temperatures last night got almost all the way down to minus 9 Celsius. Compare that with 11 degrees above freezing in parts of southern England. The mildest weather was in the south. And through the first week of the year, I think mild weather will win out for much of the time. There will be some outbreaks of rain, but equally some drier and chillier interludes. For the rest of today, for many places, it's a story of sunshine and showers, certainly across England and Wales, but more cloud for Northern Ireland and for Scotland. Still a band of rain and hill snow in the far north and temperatures north to south between 3 and 13 degrees. But we will see some rain just fringing into southern counties of England. That will move across southeast England and East Anglia as we go through tonight. Further north and west, most of the showers will fade. We'll see clear spells. And there could be some icy conditions across parts of Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland as temperatures drop away. Minus 8 in parts of the Northern Highlands. So as we move into Monday, we see this little ridge of high pressure building in across the UK. And that means actually a decent amount of dry and fine weather. But we will find ourselves in this wedge of cold air. So a slightly chillier day if you're out for a bank holiday stroll. But there should be a decent amount of dry weather around and some sunshine. Some showers into the southeast corner first thing. Some more showers into western Scotland, some of which will be wintry, particularly over the hills. A chillier feeling day down towards the south, highs of 8 or 9 degrees and just 2 or 3 across parts of northern Scotland. But then another change as we move out of Monday into Tuesday. We see these Atlantic frontal systems pushing in from the west, bringing some outbreaks of rain, strengthening the wind as well. It is going to be quite a windy day on Tuesday. Could be a spell of snow over high ground in Scotland and northern England for a time, but I don't think it'll last long because with that milder air mixing in, much of what falls from the sky will start to turn back to rain. Five degrees in Aberdeen, but 12 there for Cardiff, for London and for Plymouth. Tuesday night looks pretty wet but very mild as that uh, wet weather swings away eastwards into Wednesday. We'll be left with a mix of sunny spells and showers but something a little bit chillier starting to push in towards the north. Further south, very mild indeed, highs of 13 or 14 degrees. And then as we move into Thursday, very briefly, another one of these ridges of high pressure. So a brief dry interlude before this next frontal system starts to push its way in from the west, bringing some outbreaks of rain. Now, depending upon the track of this frontal system, uh, we may see some snow over high ground on the northern edge, and it may be that southern parts stay pretty much dry, certainly staying mild in the south, a little colder further north, particularly across parts of Scotland. Now, for the end of the week, it looks like that frontal system, a deepening area of low pressure, will push away eastwards. Another little ridge of high pressure building in and another wedge of slightly chillier air. So while we're not going to see anything unusual for the time of year, it's not going to be unusually cold. It will feel a little chillier on Friday, but drier for most of us as well. There are going to be some spells of sunshine, just one or two showers here and there, and temperatures north to south ranging between 5 and 10 degrees. So that is how the weather is looking for the first week of 2023. Bye for now. Yeah.